Um, uh, good morning, everyone. Welcome to a new episode of Empowering Voices. We have a special guest today, Michelle. She is a nutritionist, um, uh, personal trainer, and uh, cycle sync expert. She will tell us a bit <laughs> more uh, about what she does, and it's amazing. I mean, I had a great breakthrough thanks to her. Um, and we will start today uh, from the words unstoppable resilience. So welcome, Michelle, and thank, thank you, you for being with us. And thank you. Tell us a bit of, of uh, what you do and how unstoppable resilience can be applied to your business. Thank you, and thank you for the introduction. So my name is Michelle Walsh, and I'm a women's personal trainer and nutritionist, just like you were saying. So I guess how I would describe myself is just about, you know, empowering women such as yourself on the wisdom of their body. Um, I think a lot of women have completely disconnected um, to kind of what their body is doing and how it can affect your mind, your moods, because basically at the end of the day, our hormones are running the show, ladies. Mm -hmm. So they're influencing everything from our mood, our energy, our confidence, our metabolism, our weight. So I empower women to just start listening to their bodies, come from a place of nourishment and not deprivation, because I think what happens a lot with um, what we're seeing is a lot of people, especially women, they're so hard on themselves as well. And we're normally yeah. the gatekeepers of a lot of things. You know, we're running a household. We may be looking after kids. You know, maybe we're a, um, a working mom. Um, we're dealing with everything that's happening right now. So there's a lot of stress on us that maybe we weren't, you know, experiencing a year ago as well. So okay. it's just about listening to your body, you know, changing what you've been doing in the past. So, you know, when we weren't in COVID lockdown, we might have had those stressors. And um, so it's about listening to your body. Are you burnt out? How is your period? Because as we say, your menstrual cycle is like a fifth vital sign. Mm -hmm. You know, it's if you're not having periods and they are, you know, all over the place at the moment, that can have a lot to do with your stress levels. So it's about thinking about what is your body telling you and where do you need to focus on right now? Do you need to focus on just managing your stress? Maybe you need to take back the exercise. So it's just allowing women to be kinder to themselves and I suppose that's kind of where I come into it. You know, we we have a good chat about everything that's going on in their life because it's not just about, you know, nutrition. For me, it's about nourish, move, and then thrive in life because how we feel is going to have a knock-on effect in everything we do from our work, our relationships, our relationships yeah. with our family, our Especially kids. Especially now friends. when we are forced to be all together 24 hours a day. Absolutely. So, you know, as women, we... we don't run on the same cycle as men and um, with cycle thinking and I know you've had some breakthroughs in it so I'm delighted I think it's something that is becoming more popular mm -hmm. I think we are kind of moving away from that uh, mindset of we just have to put up with hormonal issues and horrific PMT and periods absolutely not we we ha we have tools at our disposal that we can use so as women we run on a four phases through our cycle men work on like a 24 hour cycle in terms of hormones in the morning afternoon evening as women we work on a four phase over a 28 to 35 ish day cycle so whatever your normal is and mm -hmm. you know we feel very differently throughout the four phases and we eat Definitely. very differently <laughs> yeah Definitely. you know uh, you know maybe we eat... actually if you are not aware you know that it's happening but uh, mm -hmm. the second you are aware everything changes and it's what mm -hmm. I was uh, telling you uh, that's why we need people like you to guide us uh, and tell us that it's mm -hmm. possible to put yeah. a little label that gives us a bit of confidence and mm -hmm. not to say okay I'm, I'm totally crazy I'm the yeah. most person ever um, yeah. I don't know I scream all the time that is yeah. <laughs> all the time maybe it's that that week that is the terrible yeah. week yeah that and I that's what I do that's where I help women as well because it's about like you said and this is the important thing as well with cycle thinking you know what you can use as much or as little as you want how I tell women to start off with it is listen just start being more aware of your patterns so I have a free download on the website and it is a way for you to track through each day of your cycle and it can just be a word high energy um felt really down today, felt really cranky pants today. And mm -hmm. that way it's about, not, okay, where am I cycling or am I at? Is it the week before my period? Is it there? And I normally tell people just by becoming more aware of it. And like you said, some people kind of know they feel differently, but they're not aware 
okay, where, when do I feel differently and how? Because we've totally disconnected. You know, if we're thinking like a hundred years ago, women were very in tune with their bodies, very in tune with the moon because we weren't uh, yeah. stuck in front of mm-hmm. TVs all the time and cameras and artificial light. You know, we were in sync with nature, our bodies. You know, women would have periods together because and, um, you know, be outside in nature more because they were more in sync with their body. So I suppose we're almost taking a full turn again. We're mm-hmm. almost coming back to that way of, thinking again because we recognize just like in you know back in the olden days herbal medicine and things you know there is a place obviously for conventional medicine but there's absolutely a place from learning about how food can be you know your medicine or your poison Mm -hmm. or where it needs to be because during the four phases of your cycle there's different things going on hormonally so when we think about it well why would we eat kind of the same all the time would we not just support our body through key nutrients that we receive from food to support what's going on. If we're developing an egg, getting ready for ovulation, why wouldn't we give our body more lean protein and vitamin E and good fats in order to support healthy ovulation? Exactly. You know, and it's it's not about just getting pregnant ovulation. We need a healthy ovulation and good ovulation in order to have a healthy menstrual cycle. And you know, that can influence people very differently. It can be women I work with who are typical type A, um, high stress. So they're seeing lots of issues there. It could be women who are suffering from infertility or they're just coming off the pill because they want to get pregnant. It could be high achievers who are over-exercising and basically not getting any results. Mm -hmm. So it's about working with the four phases of your cycle through food and through exercise, because again, we feel differently. So why not tap into those superpowers when we know we got spikes of testosterone and hormones are coming up in the middle of our cycle, we put more HIIT training in, more high cardio because we know we're going to benefit more. But during our menstrual phase, it's about fill your cup up, you know, tap inward, have those snuggles on the couch with the kids, you know, so it's it's allowed me to be more kinder to myself, but also it allows you to be more productive with your time as well. If you can really tap in to how emotionally you're feeling during those times, because you can still get all those jobs done. Like I'll do a big uh, yeah, exactly. wardrobe clear Maybe in a more uh, effective and efficient way, actually. Exactly. And that's why a lot of women I work with are, you know, they're, um, you, um, they might be business women or um, busy working moms and they, they like that structure. And if you have, we have a secret weapon, we can tap into our hormonal, hormonal superpowers. And like you said, be more productive, have better moods, feel more balanced, feel more in control, um, have a better libido. So whatever your goals are at, whether in your 20s or your 30s or your 40s, which, you know, a lot of the time it's very different. 20s might be you're looking after your skin, you're a bit more conscious of your weight and things. We think back to our 20s. 30s, maybe we're thinking more about our careers or our fertility and things. You know, maybe we're going to 40s again still, could be still about um, fertility, or you're just trying to prepare yourself for perimenopause, which is the stage to be 10 to 15 years before menopause yeah, which this was shocking uh, to know to be honest yeah and obviously yeah, everybody's said, different so. everything you do uh, before affects uh, your will life. impact the yeah. next yeah. phase exactly yeah. so, so hammering it in your 20s could impact what's going on in your 30s yeah. if you're not looking after your body in your 30s it will impact what's happening in your 40s mm-hmm. just like what you do in your 40s can influence people in their 50s and so on for menopause so you know it's not about a new diet it's about ad- adapting you know, a healthy mindset and approach to working with your body so that you are always, the base of the pyramid is always the same. It is just nourishing your body, balancing your blood sugar levels, having good good gut health, managing your stress levels. And it doesn't matter then where you move forward and it doesn't matter how your goals change as a woman. You can use that foundation and then just build on it if you need to maybe focus a bit more on fertility or maybe you need to focus a bit more on your stress. But as long as you have that strong Strong structure, yeah. Sure. That's why it's not a, a diet. I say to people, it's a lifestyle change. Yeah, it's and a habit. It must it's be developing. a habit because we all we all, in a way or the other, we went through a diet our uh, during yeah. our life. I, I I think I tried everything. But anyway, also uh, even uh, when you say diet or um, you start thinking of deprivation, yeah. Uh, while if it's a habit, you don't even think about it. Mm-hmm. Right. So it's to to get to that um, uh, mindset status and man- yeah. mindset. It's all in here, of course. I always yeah. thought. I mean, of course, when I was uh, I don't know twenty, I used uh, uh, to starve myself. 
Uh, mm -hmm. The result has been to do these uh, yo-yo diets where yeah. um, the relationship with my body wasn't exactly the healthiest yeah. ever until yeah. when uh, you realize that uh, you can give a name to the things and you can create a strong habit on which to build the next. Uh, level yeah and I think and I mean that's very common as well I think we kind of come from that era we're both from that kind of same era and I think that's why I'm trying to change the story as well as a lot of people are you know I didn't develop cycle thinking you know that um, was by an amazing nutritionist in America um, but people can use it to help people wherever they're I suppose their clients need the support with so you will get some people who use it because it's horrific period problems and people mm -hmm. are using it to support that because it plays a role in so many amazing things so the type of women that I would help then it's about number one it's progress not perfection this is the important part as well and also what I like is I tell my clients when they tell me things talk to yourself like you're your best friend as women we're very hard on ourselves and especially for that type a personality and we're constantly used to juggling so many things yeah. would we not tap into those superpowers that we have in order to feel more in control feel more productive but when we suddenly change the mindset and say okay if your best friend was telling you all this thing what would you say suddenly the conversation changes suddenly yeah. you're a little bit kinder suddenly you're, you're great at giving out advice because yeah. you know you're not taking it and I've come from that space this wasn't something that happened overnight for me mm -hmm. this is something that I just suddenly started becoming okay more aware of then I started tracking then I started becoming more interested and that was why my whole focus I saw how it changed my life I saw how it has changed my client's life you know I've had clients who were you know struggling with their weight struggling with their mood depression um and suddenly on diets that were ridiculous it wasn't even food um and suddenly they're eating more they enjoy cooking again suddenly they're discovering all these things that they didn't enjoy before because it's about you know, a lifestyle change again. And I know I kind of keep saying that because I really want to do emphasize this isn't a diet. Um, it's more about tapping into your gut health. And like I said, balancing your blood sugar levels, which everybody should be doing, to be honest, no matter what their goals are. So it does allow you just to be more connected, mind and body. Because um, I think at the moment, a lot of people are totally disconnected and it can feel very overwhelming for women to do that because, you know, like me, I was late for you. I'm, we're juggling homeschooling, we're trying yeah. to run a business. Maybe, you know, all those goals we'd set in January, you know, are not um, coming into fruitation, but it's about going, okay, well, that's okay. I can do 10%. I can do 20%. It's still allowing me to, you know, focus on my goals. People don't suddenly sign up to a marathon and run the 26 yeah, miles. Exactly. It starts with a walk. It starts with getting your first 5k. Yeah, then you're getting into the time. I mean, we cannot step. be the, the best at everything in uh, one day. Exactly. And the key you pick is acceptance. Yeah. And in the past, I always thought acceptance was like um, like to put on the side your dreams and your... Yeah, it's almost like giving passion. up, you think. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. While in reality, it's just the beginning of the action because you accept yeah. the status quo, whatever it is mm -hmm. for you. And on that, you build the next step because it's yeah. impossible. Because we try, we tend to compare ourselves uh, to yeah. others far too often. Uh, yes. Even with our cycle, um, uh, I mean, uh, the hormonal one, I mean, mm -hmm. we are not all the same. That's no. why we need you to tell us, mm -hmm. based on uh, what we did in the past, uh, how we uh, behave mm -hmm. at the present, what to do in the future. To... Yeah, and I think that's important. Not every, You're not the same. And this is why I say when people... Um, come to me and they say oh but this worked and for you know Jenny at the desk next to them or yeah. my neighbor told me about this yeah. even though my programs have a structure gut health balancing blood sugar levels tapping into your cycle every woman is different every woman has uh, a different past has different stressors has different tastes with yeah. food and different lifestyles and this is where the individual one to work comes into it this was this is what makes it different than following a generic program because you're getting that support so I don't really I don't think of myself, you know, as an expert or telling people what I think of myself is I'm, I'm here to my experiences to help people educate them to make their own choices. So, you know, during my program, I will do workshops on understanding food labels because that's an important part of it. Once you know how to read food labels and things like that, well, you can go make the choices yourself. So instead of relying on this was I heard this was good and I heard this was bad. It's about educating women and empowering them with knowledge. And then you can make your own choices based on that. But you do know 
what the information well, was. Yeah, and you exactly. can go forward and make, you know, an informed decision on that. So, yeah. And I think, you know, as a mom to, you know, a five-year-old girl, I definitely um, want to change the mindset around our bodies and periods. I don't, we kind of grew up in an era when, you know, if you had horrific periods, go on the pill or it was just accepted, yeah. but there are plenty we can do. Um, mm -hmm. You know, if, if you're, if you have horrific PMT and um, horrific heavy periods and there's not an underlying medical condition then you know it, it, it's definitely something that you tap into because it's telling you you know your body is telling you there's a disconnection yeah. somewhere so we're listening to those breadcrumbs and we are giving our body what it needs so yeah it's it, and it's not rocket science I'm not teaching anything new I'm really just breaking it down to try and make it sense make sense because it's like okay what's happening during our menstrual phase okay we're bleeding we're losing a lot of um, minerals such as um, zinc and iron. So what what would we focus on? Okay, well, how about we nourish the uterus? You know, it's going through a lot of lots of soups and stews and seaweeds and things like that. We're losing a lot of minerals, so we want to replenish those minerals, that iron and that zinc through food. So we could have yes, you get a lot of iron from obviously meat sources, but you can get iron from other things like spinach. So what enhances the absorption yeah. of iron vitamin c so in my recipes there will be there will be lots of foods high in vitamin c because the vitamin c will help absorb that iron so mm. it, it is kind of quite clever you know there is um there is a method behind it as to why we introduce certain foods because we're looking at what should be happening during that time and we are going to support our body during that time yeah with food, exercise and mindset. So, and that's what I teach. I have a free monthly um, masterclass that's in my bio. It's an introduction to cycle syncing that anyone can jump on. It's a 30 minute workshop that people can just, uh, I break it down just to understand it. And the first kind of steps in order to start introducing it into your life. Some people then are already at that point. So they wanna go further and jump on the program. Other people need that time to just start assessing what their pattern is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, actually, I want to remind everyone that uh, in the post, in my bio, on my website, uh, there will be all the contacts to know mm -hmm. more of what you are doing um, and um, um, keep in contact with you. Um, yeah. I wanted to ask you if there's um, a, a word or a, a quote that uh, could support your business. I mean, your mission. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I have lots of quotes because being Irish, we're just full of them. <laughs> but I suppose they, people hear me saying it again. And I suppose I have to say it. And I did say it earlier. It was it's about progress, not perfection. Mm -hmm. I think it's imperfect action. And people have to remember that this is a lifestyle change. And it could be three steps forward, 10 steps back. It doesn't matter because what we see, especially in January, is that people set unrealistic goals, unrealistic targets that just don't fit into their lifestyle. It's not to say that you have to shelve that goal. Mm -hmm. But maybe you have to take those few steps back because sometimes, you know, the turtle really does win the race by just taking slow, consistent steps. Yeah. And that's my approach with my clients. We set weekly goals and we only set two or three so that we can easily introduce them. It's not overwhelming because right now everyone's overwhelmed. People don't need extra even things more. put on their yeah. shoulder yeah. even more. So we put we put um, some little targets and goals in that are easy to do. It's very easy to incorporate into family life, a busy life. And once you see, you know, the positive things you're getting out of that, it propels people to try more. So I really say, guys, progress, not perfection. If you have a, um, a goal or an intention that you're really trying to get to, then, you know, if it feels too overwhelming right now, just take little steps. What, what one or two things can you do over the next few weeks to get you started and just get the ball rolling? So yeah, that's that's one I like. Yeah, yeah, I think it's an amazing uh, suggestion uh, and advice in any any field of our life. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we start with our own body, uh, that is uh, our little home yeah. to start with. <laughs> we Absolutely, yeah. with wonders. That's amazing. Thank you very much, uh, Michelle. No, thank you. Of course, I, I could that. stay here and, and talk to you forever. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you. Interesting. And um, I invite everyone actually to um, visit your website and uh, your free, ma free masterclass uh, to start with yeah. and mm -hmm. uh, really start making changes uh, yeah. to become habit. Thanks a lot Thank again. You. No worries. I... Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye.